As they go up the back straight once again, so it's still Harvey and Hardle lead into that top corner once again from Beard and Goodwin, all to the second, the mouth has got the third lead. Lot number four, Cooper in fast in last corner. The second and third place is Sean Harvey's got it totally sewn up at the front. Mouse having one last go. Four race number two, the final strike up. Super series of Scott's on his left line. Mitch Cotton gets a corner first. And it looks like that Dan Barrett trying to find a way through on the inside. Barrett has found a way through on the inside. Goodwood's in third place to get around the edge of Barrett to move for the second going up the back straight for the first time. And it's Gordon who leads from Goodwood in second. Barrett has got the third spot. That's the top three. They come to London in five, Dunn is in six, as they go up the back straight for the second time, Wilson wins. Well, he's trying to get to he's having to go at Godden now, going into that top corner. On lap number two, just a bite between first and second, Godden on the inside. Could we try to go around the outside now? Ready, starter walks away. Away we go, Sean Harvey making a good start from the outside. Can he get across? Or will Beard get there first? No, Sean Harvey's got across against Cockdon for the second time this afternoon. He's left on the line then. As it is, Sean Harvey leads going up the back straight for the first time. Solomon Beard's gone through in the second. The Bells have made a dreadful start. They're back in fifth place. Moment start is long, making a move around the outside. Barry managed to find out first. Simon Bell seems to have problems, they've got right back to 6th place after having a super 3rd place in their opening ride then. It's Harvey Elite being chased by Beard in 2nd, then it's got the 3rd. He's been pulling away from London, who's got 4th. He's got the 4th. Harvey Elite's got the 4th, done in 5, Bell's in 6th. Off the back straight they go, equal distance between the top three, going into that top corner for the third time again. Beard close the gap slightly on the end of the corner, but again, Sean Hardy. Sean Down the back straight they go for the final time. Another impressive line coming up for Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. That means they're going to claw a few more points back on the first and second place riders. It's Harvey Elite coming out of that line. Cumbie, he walks away, Stark can be crucial, away they go, and Josh Goodwin's got away, so is Miss Godden getting away, who's going to get the corner first, it's Godden who gets the corner first, Goodwin has got to do the chasing again this time, and as Godden leads in, then Goodwin in second, Berwick has now gone through in the third, Hogg is in fourth place, Natasha Barkin in five with that top corner for the first time, it's Godden and Smith who leads in, it's Goodwin in Second half is in, is in fourth place, Barkin in five, Neem in six, going up the back straight once again, the gap slow slide, close slightly between first and second again, that's where Goodwin's very close on the entry to that top corner, and they're still coming up the advantage, they come to the front top of the Six 
Ready, Starter moves away, up for the tape, so there goes Dolphin, there goes Dolphin, 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 so it's good and where is Harvey, Harvey trying to get through on the inside, he's pegged back on the inside, Godden leads in, and Goodman goes to the second and Harvey was blocked in on the exit to that first corner, he's in third, and making the move around the edge, so Goodman going into that top corner for the first time then, it's Godden leads to the number in second half, he's got the third As they go up the back straight once again, Godden leads in from Goodwin holding second. Then Sean Harvey dropping back in third, the top two getting away. And it's still Godden leads in from Goodwin holding second. Harvey's got the third. This is the third time. As Godden leads in from Goodwin in second, Harvey is in third, Bells have gone round the edge of Barry Bennett to move back through the fourth place and look at that scrap of the front, there's two bites between first and second, Godden's one again, can And it's good when he leads for the first time this afternoon. Gordon trying to come back in second place and right between them going into the top corner for the final time. It's good when he leads and then Gordon holding that second place. Good on, on the inside. Gordon's going to go right around the outside. He's coming back. Good to the race number 22. Starter moves away, up to the gate, Josh Goodman got an hamstring fire and Sean Harvey is potentially going away. But in fact, he's going to be led into that top corner, it's so Josh Goodman, they go to the back straight for the first time. Real solid going up on that first corner, going up the back straight on lap number one, it's Goodman, it's got the new leads going into that top corner for the first time. Looks like Josh Goodman in second place, he's going to move around. And Dan Barrick is in fourth place, they're bunching up for first, second and third, they go up the back straight once again, it's Hills Compton with the advantage again, Josh Goodwin go trying to get around the outside, Sean Harvey's trying to split them up in third place, three of us coming off the exit from that top corner. Of the
Right now, ladies and gentlemen, you can see Starnes London, Dennis Smith are coming round on the track with the flares. That is their last ever race on 500 sidecars. He has been an extremely popular visitor over to these shores. He's been great with the English fans. He's always got time to sign autographs and also have pictures taken. So, big cheer for Starnes as he comes round. He is going to race in motocross, I've been reliably informed. So this is what the Vance wanted to do. He comes over the, the big Viking, comes over to race in so many meetings. He's one of the most popular 500 sidecar riders we've ever had and he's a great ambassador for the 500 sidecar so please show your appreciation for Dennis Smith and Steinus Lund as they come round on their lap of honour Liam Brown the passenger of the John Goodwin son and being what a pity he didn't ride in all the rounds he's the front wheel down near the
Sorry, but he's now gone through in the third place. They got the back straight once again. The bells are pulling away. London now under pressure. But it's trying to find a way through on the inside. But it does go through on the inside of Starnes. London now gone from first to third. Then coming out of that top corner to put it right the middle. Super action for second and third, the bells are getting away the front and Lund holds that second, Ben has got the third, Barker's getting very close in fourth place, they're going to be clear, Brass going into that top corner for second, third and fourth place, the bells are getting away the front. So drama in the final race, but what a race it was. Show your appreciation. I've been told to hold on the results. So I don't know what that is about. Clark of the course for obviously let us know. Sean Harvey, who lifted out of the storm, battling way to the pick up the fifth place for Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. Then we've got Simon Beard and Anthony Goodwin. What a contribution they put in this afternoon. The veils from round on their lap as well. What a fabulous, fabulous final that was.